Hi, welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. I am Debbie and I am a, an intuitive channeler. I open myself to God, Source, um, you know, Holy Spirit, and whatever the words are, whatever needs to be said comes out. Now, we are reading for January 20th, 21st, and 22nd. That is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We have now entered into Aquarius season. Interesting times always, as always. Now, if you're new to my channel or if you just want to cross-watch, um, you know, your Venus, your you know, your Mars, your Jupiter, your Moon, things like that, then go right down there. There will be a timestamp in the description and it should bypass this main reading. This reading will be on all the videos, so it's not the same reading. It's just the introduction is the same for all videos. Okay, so anyway, like I said, this is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I will be using, for the main readings, my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards, my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. I will also use my Angels of Abundance with from Doreen Virtue and Grant Virtue, and pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal Deck. Now... What we're going to do is we are going to do an overview reading, and with that I will use my Weight Rider, Traditional Tarot, and my Osha Zen Tarot cards. Now, to let you know, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. We are entering, like I said, into um, Aquarius season. That will be on the 20th, and that is at 3.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's when that transitions, that's when Capricorn leaves, and that's when we go into Aquarius. Now, new moon in Aquarius will be the 21st at 3.53 p.m. And then, so we have a, it's an interesting time where it's basically the 20th, the 21st, and then we go to the 22nd, whereas we have, well, we have Venus uh, doing some things with, with Saturn during the 22nd. And then our last planet that has been going retrograde goes direct, and that is Uranus. Now, Uranus goes direct, um, goes, you know, basically it goes direct, and then it goes retrograde. This is a cycle every year, but this is the last time, um, you know, this is the last time it's gone retrograde. For right now, on the 22nd at 5.58 p.m., it then goes direct. So what that means then is that the um, planet is getting to the stationary direct. It's slowing down and it's really making some focus here. It's, you know, it, it, or at least let's put it this way. When it goes retrograde, it's actually an illusion of slowing down and really putting its energies very, very strongly um, on anything that we are working at. Taurus is earth energy, money, job, career, like Capricorn and Virgo is. Now, Aquarius is the water bearer. So there is a sense of equality with the water, but also there is a sense of Aquarius wanting to quench thirsts, wanting to, um, you know, basically fulfill a lot of people's needs, and that could be quenching your thirst for knowledge, quenching your thirst um, physically. It's just an interesting time with this. It is something that Aquarius does not necessarily like the, um, you know, the man-made rules, the man-made religions, the, you know, does not like that, you know, it wants to break out also, you know, Aquarius believes that anything is possible. Aquarius is our air energy, so that would be our sword energy, that would, and also that would be Gemini and um, Libra, so that's our thought processes, thinking things through. Uh, so we're into this we're into this transition of thought. We're into this transition of need. We're into this transition of fulfillment. Also, we are ready to uh, move from, you know, and many many people are saying we are already in the age of Aquarius. Some say that it was back in 2012. Some say that it's going to be 2026. So I've even read where that some people say 2600. I feel we are definitely transitioning, and with Aquarius, like I said, the Aquarius season is about, you know, it's about 
you know, looking beyond what it, what the rules and regulations are. And um, what we've been in is Pisces season. So it really is, you know, changing from the laws and the business of religion and the business of government. So this is the little season, but with this little season, and I don't mean it as little because it's a very impactful one, we are about to transition into a bigger time, and I've been talking about it, when Pluto goes into Aquarius in Mars for three months. So there's going to be a lot of a build, there's going to be a build up to that. And, you know, all, all our changes. It's been in Capricorn, that's been our money, job, career. So there's been a lot of tear down and rebuilding with that. And now it's going to do the tear down and rebuilding of our ideas and our possibilities. Okay. So the one card is popping out. We have the King of Cups. King of Cups is always an interesting energy just because it's the he has a high EQ, emotional quota or quotient. He has been through the mill. He has been through, you know, he has had the ups and down. He has gone through the roller coaster of life and he has come out heartfelt and hopeful still. You know, even though he's seen he's seen things that you really don't want to have him seen, there is still a sense of hope. There is a sense of possibility. There is a sense of, you know, things are going to work out better. And there's also a sense of survivorship with this king also. So, cups in itself is our water energy. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So I talked a little bit about Pisces, the age of Pisces, how we're transitioning. We've been in that age for 2,000 years, give or take a couple of years um, or decades maybe. And we're doing this major transition. So we have the cups. We have that water energy. But the earth, I mean the court cards have a dual energy. Underlying energy for a king is that swords. So that sword, again, air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, thought processes, thinking things through. So there is this part of the air, there is this part of the water, um, whereas the air is very objective, is very um, focused, is very, this is what we need to do, I know it, black and white, you know, no gray energies. The king of cups comes along and says, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, there's more, there's more to this than meets the eye. There is more... Um, that we need to uncover. There is more that we need to know. The King of Cups is also very caring energy and wants to make sure that um, you know his heart goes his heart goes out for those who do not have. And he's a very much a um, he's somebody who is a very much a humanitarian and wants to you know provide and care for others. So interesting for that one. Let's see what else we have going on. Okay, now this is reversed. Reversed has a stronger energy. This is our Ten of Swords. So Ten is transitional energy. Just things moving on. When, we, when you see a Nine, it's like everything's done. Wrap it up. And then Ten is like, okay, let's move things on. Let's get things going. We are not staying where we're at. So Sword energy, again, is that um, Aquarius, that Gemini, that... Uh, Libra energy, and remember, Mars is in Gemini, and Mars is always go is also going direct. So we've had we, just in the last what week, um, we've had Mars go direct, we've had Mercury go direct, and now we're about to have Uranus go direct. So it's really a, you know, it's pushing forward energy with with things in life. Uh, again, one new beginning, zero God source energy. So whatever it is. Whatever that what's been gone, what we've gone through, whatever the world's been going through, whatever the universe, it is done. It is done. It is completed. There is a loving, caring, ruler, ruling type of energy here, but whatever it is, it is done. It is done. It is ready. It is ended. You know, not coming back, not coming back to life. Next card is, okay, you know that I love the Empress. The Empress, again, this was reversed. This is a three. Three is our celebration, our creativity. It's also the power of three. And we're going to have that new moon on the 21st. So we are we are coming up to that new moon energy. And the new moon is a new season, a new start. It's a wonderful time to request. Um, you know, it's a wonderful time to just put those intentions out. It's just a very strong energy. And again, like I'm saying with Aquarius, Aquarius wants to quench, quench the thirst, quench the knowledge, 
quen you know give 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 um not overly give but give so that there's always more to look at more to see more to come there it, it's very much a starting on a new journey here the empress major arcana i look at her you know she is always pregnant so she's always creating she's always giving op opportunities she's always wanting wonderful things to happen her, her energies aren't as direct um, as possibly the emperor or, or as focused and organized because there's just so many choices there's so many possibilities and she kind of is like you know if you don't like this well we can try that but she does want to provide she does want to give so you have some very giving loving caring energies right here um, you know the empress too we even though like i said mercury is direct right now we are still in the shadow of the retrograde so there is a lot of things um that you know that has been undone only to be refocused and redirected so interesting loving energy caring energy loving energy caring energy something has completed something is done and even though it may not necessarily feel um it may not feel comfortable there's a lot of caring energy um, surrounding whatever this is that's done okay so let's go on here now let's do our osha zen tarot let me know you know i love to hear uh what people think about this and what your impression might even be too so here we go let's go on here let's see what do we have osha zen tarot what do we have for this week the universe the you know the world whatever this is remember too whatever is going on in the world whatever we're hearing whatever we're you know just kind of like oh my goodness is the sky falling in um remember we have to live our life and we have to remember that fear is a tool of the devil it is not you know we cannot live in fear okay so let's go on let's see what we have here here we go one more time here we are possibilities possibilities now the eagle actually does have a lot of it is associated with scorpios believe it or not um the eagle it will, okay let's go here so here we have it too two is choices decisions possibilities it's do i go this way do i go that way it's um you know coming together the eagle is flying the eagle is looking at its domain is looking at everything now is this a sunset or is this a sunrise you know the fact that they're calling this possibilities i would say this is a sunrise and that all that there are many possibilities to come many possibilities that will the sun will shine upon the eagle has the bird's eye view can see things that we ourselves cannot see in some ways this you know even though this is not it does have that um, hanged man type of energy where it's basically telling you to you know look you know look beyond what look beyond what your what's maybe in front of your face look beyond see the possibilities and again i feel like that's the sun rising and rising on a new day so inter interesting stuff i do love that i do love this i you know this is transition this is like whatever's ended is now done and we are we are going pluto is going to be going into like i said aquarius for three months then it transitions back to capricorn kind of like i'm showing you the possibilities now i we go back to capricorn so we can um you know get things cleaned up rebuild do a lot of other things and then in 2024 it will go into aquarius for what is it then like 15 years so possibilities i like it i like the possibilities i love the empress i love the king of cups and i love that ten of swords now the one card i did not mention or the one energy i did not mention is our fire energy and that is our aries now jupiter's in aries our leo and our sagittarius passionate burning determined that is our uh the rod or the wand energy it's fire energy so it you know it's a it's all good it's all good so just take a moment please you know like i said this is just the introduction your reading will be coming up uh, but please take a moment to do the like the share the subscribe clicking on the bell for notifications please comment let me know um you know how is this affecting you 
But, um, you know, most important part of all of this, and as always, please know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Hello, my Aquariuses, and happy birthday to you. Now it is your season, and Uranus is about to go direct. Uranus and Aquarius have a very strong relationship with each other. You like to break out. You don't like the stand, you know, the status quo. I mean, you, you can appreciate it. You know that you have to pay the rent, you know that or mortgage, you know that you have to have the roof over your head. You 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 are realistic in, in many ways. However, you're always you're very innovative and this is the season. This is the season for you to do to break out. This is a breakout type of energy for you. Okay, so now we've got two cards that have popped out. We've got one major arcana which is all about balance or your temperance card. So I don't know. Maybe this is even though the uh, maybe even though the energies are really pushing you forward, it is good to to keep in balance. But let's go on. Let's see higher powers. There another card or what's the other card for our Aquarius? Is because this starts their birthday season. Let's okay now. Okay now we have this. We have two cards that have fallen. I, I know that the one is water, but I do not know what it is, so we'll come to that in just a second. All of these are reversed. Not quite sure. This one is also reversed, the one that's underneath. So let's go ahead, and we're going to flip them. So this is a very strong message for you, and let's talk about it. Money is coming. Be, be aware. Money is coming. There is an awakening. There is something you need to look at differently. At the same time, even though you're seeing what you need to see, and it's, it, it may be um, really trying to push you forward, and it may try to push you out of your comfort zone, which is not a bad thing per se, you need to stay in balance. You need to stay in with some moderation. You know, it's kind of like when you know something that's so great or so big and you want to share it with everybody, you need to not do that. Okay, so let's go on. We have a 6, a 1, 4, and a 1, 2. Six is the number of man. It's the energies you put into something. One, four, 14, um, 10, one, one new beginning, 10 transitional energy. Four is stability organization. You add it together, one plus four, and that's a five, and that's all about change. So again, we have the 12, we have the one and the 10. We have a two, which is crossroads, choices, decisions coming together. You add it together, one, to t one plus two is a three. And that's about celebration, creativity. It's also about um, the power of three. So we have two major arcanas here. One is the messenger, the divine messenger. So you could be receiving news about something. You know, go back to the introduction when we did have the empress there, who is also a three. Um, you know, and if we were to have used these cards with the Empress, it would have also been Archangel Gabriel. So there could be some messages coming for you. Maybe you're going to hear some good news about money. But again, whatever this is that you're hearing, you need to keep in balance. So if you're if you're hearing something about wonderful money coming for you, don't do not spend it until at least you have it in hand. OK, because it's just kind of this uh, it's just this sense of. You know, you want, you want to go forward, you know, it's rather exciting, it's that breakout energy, and yet at the same time, you have to stay, you have to stay, just keep keep your feet on the ground a little bit, okay? Keep your feet on the ground. Your head might want to go to the clouds, your head might want to just kind of like say, oh yes, all these possibilities, it's okay to dream, it's okay to wish, it's okay to have, you know, have some, po you know, like, oh my goodness, all the possibilities, just keep your feet on the ground. Okay, so we have the six of earth. This is unexpected money. This is debts being paid. This is, you know, that that uh, maybe this is that investment. And again, I don't do financial advice, but maybe this is investment that comes through. Maybe this is a bonus from your job, your work. Uh, maybe this is back pay. Maybe, you know, maybe there's some back pay coming to you. But it's something that you have earned. But now, did you earn it actually through your work? Was it karmic earning? Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, gifts of money. Oh, earth energy is our, is our Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And remember, Uranus goes, um, and it goes direct in Taurus. And we are switching from Capricorn to, Ari to Aquarius energy. So money, job, career. 
gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. Now, sometimes this is this unexpected money. Um, you know, it, it, it almost feels like it's a miracle. And sometimes I get that with the six of pentacles or the six of um, what would be the other one, um, Ariel. Um, you know, sometimes it's something that's just totally left out of left field. And, and this could still be that, but it is something, I feel like this is something you have earned. Now, maybe this is something from six years ago, you know, it, but it, it comes back now. Anyway, now we have balance. Archangel Zedkiel of the Violet Light. So there's a very strong, um, you know, there's a very strong sixth and seventh chakra energy. There is a very strong connection with God here. There, it, but again, this is whatever this is all about. Keep your feet on the ground. You can you can dream. You can put all this. You know, you can just put it all out there and say yes, yes, yes. Just stay. Try to stay. Like I said, keep your feet on the ground. Okay, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. So now we have this. This is, again, awakening. This is the hanged man. This is you need to look at things a little differently. Then, again, remember your Saturn in Aquarius. Now, Saturn does something. Um, Saturn in Aquarius is doing something with that new moon on that 21st. So it might, again, and remember, I'm always saying illusion versus reality. It's kind of like this, oh my gosh, I finally see it. I, I, kind, I understand. It's an opening. It's a, and this could also be one of those third eye openings, your, your seventh um, chakra opening. It's all of a sudden, I, I, you know, there's a sense of understanding. I understand. Now, Gabriel, again, is also the messenger. So you might be hearing news about something that's really very positive, and it's like, oh, I understand. I understand finally. Anyway, look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Now, this one is a, is a um, water energy. Don't know what this is, but this is the six of water. So we started out with the six of earth, and now we end with the six of water, at least for this. Now, the six, now and, and the reason I'm saying that is, again, the number of man, the number of man. Water and earth, you know, if it's too much water, um, the earth floods. If it's, you know, too little, the earth is parched. But this feels like it's just enough. It's just enough. There is a balance with this water and earth. So, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And again, I talk about Pisces. Neptune is also in Pisces. So, there is this, um, you know, caring, fluid, emotional uh, also very sensitive energy. Now the six of water is nostalgic, is looking back and kind of, uh, kind of, you know, sometimes the six of water is saying goodbye. Sometimes the six of water is just learning from your mistakes or learning from your experiences. But the six of water to me is always nostalgic, is always kind of like, okay, okay, now, again, seeing that it's right next to here, I see it now. I see it now. So memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. So let's put that over there. Now we have 6, 14, 12, 6. Okay, John Holland, Psychic, Tarot, and Oracle cards. What do you have for our birthday season Aquarius? Yeah, keep your, keep your feet on the ground because there's, I mean, th it might want to just like sweep you up. And you need, you need to stay balanced. You need to stay, you know, you need to keep your feet on the ground. But it's a really good energy. It's a really like, oh my gosh, look at what's happening. Um, so here we are here. Prosperity begins. So this would be the one, new beginnings. We've talked about ones. This would be earth energy earth energy we've talked about this so there's a big shift coming for you there's a big shift um you know i'm hoping you're feeling it i'm hoping you're accepting it uh put it out there especially with this new moon prosperity begins things again things you've planted um are growing things that you've done and again i feel like it's something that you've already put into motion uh, maybe you never expected it to anything to happen and now it is okay so let's go on to the Angels of Abundance. Let's see what we've got going here. Now, for my Aquariuses, what do we have for our loving Aquariuses? Yeah, my little rebels, I mean, 
you don't like status quo, you can make things happen. And, and this is, again, this is a breakout. You've been, well, a lot of people, but, you know, with Saturn and Aquarius, it's been a, it's been a rough, it's been a rough couple of years. Here we go. Reversed. Pay yourself first. Ta okay, so if, you're, if you get in a bunch of money, say you get in so much money, you're like, oh my gosh, I can help this person and that person and this person and that person. And sometimes, you know, like I said, you need to stay grounded. You need to take care of yourself. So pay off your mortgage, pay off your, um, your debts, pay off whatever it is you can do. Put some money aside for yourself and then share. Okay, I shouldn't say, well, I don't know if it's sharing, but, be, you know, you need to be in a secure place in order for you to help others, okay? So, make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. Wow, okay, okay, so let's see. What crystal and, and or energy would be very helpful for my Aquariuses? So if we added all the numbers, it would be six five three six one one six three five six. Okay, let's see what we have here. Crystal or energy for my Aquariuses? What would be helpful for you? Okay. Titanium Rainbow Quartz. Wow. I look to see, because this pops up um, a little more than a lot of different ones, but uh, there's no real break, there's no real, like, problem with the card. So, Titanium Rainbow Quartz is a combination between man and, well, between the natural and the um, para, para, the normal and the paranormal, between the, uh, you know, physical and the metaphysical. So, it's a, you know, it's man-made and it's also of nature. So the titanium rainbow quartz awakens all chakras, ultimate manifestation, vibrancy. It's a powerful shift. So it feels like you're going to be in that powerful shift. Season of possibilities. Okay, so my Aquariuses, please take that moment to like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. You know, let me know. Comment, please. As always, though, my Aquarians, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.